how do you plan on staying healthy this summer? I like to go fishing. I stay healthy that way. Um, I did tandem um, bike riding. There's an organization in Cincinnati called um, Two Can Do. I also uh, I like to walk with my dog. Uh, he's a pretty fast dog. We actually did an American Council of the Blind of Ohio um, Greater Cincinnati chapter uh, walk about a month ago, and he got on that trail and he was just passing people left and right. And I was like jogging with him, so I was like, oh man. <laughs> I did canoeing too, but right now, as um, right now this year, I haven't done a whole lot. But <laughs> I'm looking forward to doing more this year. So, Mike, what are your plans? I know you're pretty active in the winter, but how do you plan on staying active in the summer? So we're kind of in the middle of moving right now, so my normal routine is a little bit disrupted. But uh, I mean, I grew up here, so I've got a friend who just so happened when we moved in here in March to be training for a marathon that was supposed to be last Saturday. So I just said, hey, can I just go with you? So um, I never went more than 13 and a half miles, but just for the heck of it, because she was doing it, I just started running with her just to keep in shape. Uh, I, I've done a handful of half marathons. I never considered myself a runner, but I guess if I'm doing 13 miles just because, I guess that kind of, that kind of forces me into that category. Um, I also love CrossFit. I do a lot of CrossFit too. I ran in May my first Tough Mudder, which is about a 10 to 12 mile long obstacle course down in Texas. And uh, just last week, I spent last week down in the Cayman Islands scuba diving. So I've got a lot of different things going on, kind of have a, a wide variety of, but that's kind of the way I like it. I'll do something for a little while and then shift gears a little bit and then kind of mix and match. So I, uh, I don't like being stationary for too long. So I just got back from the Cayman Islands a couple of days ago and went on a run yesterday and I can tell that it's been about two weeks since I've done anything. So um, just uh, you know, try to keep busy. Whatever kind of opportunities show up, because the hardest thing usually for me is finding a guide to run with. That's awesome. Um, Matt and Katie, do you have any you know tips for staying healthy in the summer? Anything you're trying out? Definitely. And and Phil and and Mike both gave great examples of what you can do as someone. Uh, with a disability or you know without a disability and basically what they said is you can do almost anything uh, you know I think they gave about eight examples and there's probably a dozen more that they could probably both think of of things to do um, but you know I think when when you are someone with a disability there's really no limitations except for what you're willing to try and what you're willing to adapt to and that's kind of our our mission and model is to teach everyone how to adapt to sports and uh, then try to provide them with those opportunities. So if uh, you know if someone's looking for a, a specific way to adapt to sport, whether it's you know scuba diving or running, you know there's always a way to do it, and uh, we always are happy to provide information on that. Our, our website is a great resource with a lot of those adaptations. And my favorite summer sport is soccer. I think it's a great team sport, but just taking up all competitive sports, just something fun and physically active that I like doing that anyone can do is hiking. And there's always trails and there's nature wherever you go, even if it, you need to take a 30-minute you know, ride down somewhere. Um, that's just a fun, active way to either have time with by yourself or to interact with friends or different people in your community. So I'm really looking forward to hitting up the trails here in Colorado. Um, 